What's up guys, this is Moritz here from Sections to once again and today I'll be showing you again how you can save yourself a lot of time and money by not hiring an expensive developer and still having all the customization options in the world and you don't also have to learn a hard to learn app which is going to take away a lot of your time and the section I'm going to be showing you today which covers all that is this product tab section right here. You can easily integrate it into your own store those are all clickable, it's fully customizable, and I'm going to show you different ways to use it because you can either use it with meta fields or just type in your own content. And then let's say we just get right into it. The first thing I did for that was actually headed on over to the Shopify app store and got the section store app, which is this one right here. It's a non-subscription app. You can get it completely free in the Shopify app store. And to actually find the section, you have to open it up and then simply look for product tabs and the one I used for this tutorial is this one like I said already app itself is completely free this does come with a one-time charge of nine dollars though but I think at the end of the day it is a pretty good deal because it is a time and money saver because you don't need an expensive developer and you still have all the customization options in the world so yeah after successfully downloading that you head back to the main area of the app by clicking on section store and then on my sections this is a collection of all the sections you own and then simply scroll down, add the newly bought one to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. And then simply open up the theme you also installed it to. I've already done so. Just going to head back to it. That's the one you saw in the beginning of the video. I'm just going to lead it for this tutorial so we can start completely from scratch. Let's save it up real quick. And then I'll be adding the sectioner. So it's called product tabs two. That's the one we are looking for. Let's drag it up here. That is looking nice. Save it up again. So we make sure it gets loaded in there properly. Yeah, perfect. And we already can see right here, the product description is getting shown. And the reason for that is because that here is actually selected. So like that, the product description will be in there. If it wouldn't be selected, that would just be description. So the content of that would get displayed but we do want the product description. And for that, we want a little heart. You can also choose whatever you want. We have a nice selection of icons right here, but you can also upload your own ones. But I'm quite happy with the ones we have already. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. The second tab, I do want to have a meta field actually. You can easily connect it with clicking on that. We already did a several video on the meta fields. I'm just gonna link it in the description because that's gonna be a different topic. But yeah, here I wanna do the material actually. And I wanna delete that one. And actually the header is supposed to be material. And we're gonna go with the plant right here. It's looking nice. Let's save it up real quick and have a look if it's actually working. And it is, it's made 100% out of cotton. The text is coming from a dynamic string. But yeah, like I said already, video will be in the description where we explain that further. And yet the last one, I just want with normal content. I filled this in myself. If you don't want to have it dynamically and you created a several page, you can just do it that way. And it's going to be the returns. So we do want a truck on that one. So it makes the most sense. Let's save it all up. And then I'm going to show you some customizations. You can do the whole block itself. So let's head back and click on the product tabs. So we want to have it below the buy buttons. You could have it above the product title as well. Always make sure to save the whole thing up and to actually do it, you can either paste this in or just do it with that block right here. We can add a little gap as well between those. So that is a bit bigger. So yeah, you can see right here, everything here is customizable. That line can be made thicker too, but I'm quite happy with how it looks already. We could make the icons a little bit bigger too, but I do think they look quite nice the way they are. The button size is changeable too, and all the fonts and the colors are something we can change as well. For example, I could change the content color to orange, just a really rough example in that case. But at the end of the day, this is up to you and some general margins and the content width, of course. Let's save it all up and have a final look at it in the live version. Just going to leave it at that position. We're going to give this a little refresh so you can see everything actually got implemented there. So the made 100% out of cotton is working, the meta field, and this is also working. And that was pretty much it. Hope you guys found that useful and you're going to build nicely looking product tabs. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.